Director of Development here at the Lancaster Health Center. And so tell us a little bit about the Lancaster Health Center. Great. So community health centers started to pop up around 50 years ago. So Lancaster jumped into that and said, why don't we have our own? And Lancaster Health Center started in 1974 in the building right behind where we're sitting right now on South Duke Street and just grew and grew. We now have five locations around the city and we're serving 22,000 patients a year out of a city of 60,000. What kind of services do you guys offer? Well, we're basically like your family doctor. So we do primary health care, we do dental care, and we add on to that things like social services. So we have social workers on staff who can help link people to additional resources that they need for housing, for food, for transportation, and care coordination. If you have something complex and you need to go see a specialist and you're not quite sure how to navigate the healthcare system, mm -hmm. we have care coordinators on staff to help you with that. That's amazing. And there are some other things. The social services and care coordination are two of the things that really set us apart. Okay. The other part is we have a sliding fee scale. So if you don't have insurance, mm -hmm. you can come here, you meet with a patient benefits coordinator, and according to family size and income, we put you on that sliding fee scale. So if you're at the poverty level, and even a family of one, you're seeing your family physician here for $15. Or you're seeing a dentist here for $15. It's Amazing. very accessible. Yes, it's very accessible. And so if someone wanted to get more information about that, where do they go? They can either use our website, which is www.lancasterhealthcenter.org, or you can call our main office, which is 717-299-6371. Wonderful. And so I see that we have an upcoming event. We do. October 6th. October Tell us a little bit about 6th. this. So we have been looking for something unique. Mm -hmm. We know that Lancaster has a lot of galas as fundraisers. There are a lot of 5Ks. We yes. really wanted something that had activity because we're a health organization and we wanted something unique. And one of our committee members brought us this as an idea and we decided to try it out. So. People sign up, we call them edgers, because this is over the edge, <laughs> and you raise your minimum of $1,000, and that earns you the right to rappel down Ruoff Tower on October 6th. So we invite everyone to come out and spectate. That is absolutely free. We're going to have food trucks on site, so you can have your lunch there. And we also, the night before, October 5th, which is a first Friday, we have media and VIP rappelling. So we've already, we've confirmed <laughs> a few people, we've got a few more coming, and the way we define VIP here is anyone who is helping to make our community better. Okay. So we've got people from our bank, we've got people from media outlets, we've got social entrepreneurs, and rumor has it that Silo from the Barnstormers is going to Aww. do this again. He was a hit last year. <laughs> we love Silo for sure. So how do people sign up for this event? So when you go to our website, again, www.lancasterhealthcenter.org, right at the top, you're gonna to see a button that says Over the Edge, and that takes you right to the registration page, and you can sign up there. You can do individual or you can do team. You can toss the boss, which is what we did here last year. Our CEO allowed us to toss her, and she had a blast. <laughs> so did we. And. You can also, if repelling isn't your thing, you can go to that same website and you can make a donation. You can support people who have set up their repelling fundraisers. Thank you so much, Brenda. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Janet. Bye, guys.